What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is gonna be extremely special. I have done unboxing videos separately, taking a close look in high definition at the brand new Focal Name Plastique series. The 222 preamp, the 250 amplifier, and the 300 power supply. I have these units right here, and I'm gonna show you in detail how to set them up, how to make all of the connections, as well as how to actually play content, use the application, and demos. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Let's get into it. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make the connections to the NAP250, which is our power amplifier, the MPX300, which is our power supply, and the NSC222 streaming preamplifier, which is all part of the new Focal Name Classic series. Let's grab our cables. First things first, we are gonna connect our power cables. If you were not going to be making the purchase for the power supply unit, then you would want to go ahead and plug your type four connection and your type three connection like this. Keep them from being damaged. In this situation, I am going to be making the connections, so I'm gonna take my plugs out. I'm gonna go ahead and make all of my power connections to each unit. Next, I'm going to be making my type four connections between my power supply and my processor. Just like that. The type three connection. And if you look at the connection, there's like a, a slightly thicker plastic insert right here. You line it right up with the top of the connection and then you spin it to lock it, okay? Those connections made. Next, we're gonna make our XLR connections between our power amplifier down here and our preamp. These cables are all included, high quality components from Focal Name. And we're gonna connect left to left, right to right, like so. Same thing with the right connection. Okay, those are our XLR connections. All right, and next we're gonna be connecting our NSC222 to the NAP250 power amp. We've connected our two XLR cables supplied with the NAP250 from our balanced XLR outputs of the NSC222 to the balanced inputs of the NAP250. You wanna ensure that the cables are channel matched. The preamplifier left output connected to the power amplifier left input and the same for the right. Next. We're we're gonna connect the system automation cable supplied with the NAP250 to the NSC222 remote in terminal on the NAP250. So we're gonna be going remote out of the 222 like that. And then we're gonna take it to the remote in terminal on the NAP250. I'm gonna take this to the remote in on the NAP250. And what this is going to do, guys, is it's going to turn on the power amplifier immediately whenever the NSC222, your preamp, is powered on. It's a trigger. Okay, next we're going to take our connections. These are going from our speakers, left and right terminals, and we're gonna connect it to our NAP250. So this is my right. So next, we are going to make our connections, connecting our right speaker like that. And then we're gonna remove our plug for our left speaker and make our connection to the left speaker. I just love how all this Focal names, cables, all of the amplifiers, everything just seamlessly works together and fits like a glove. Okay, so now that we've made all of our connections for the power supply, the amplifier, and the pre-amplifier, all we need is a connection to play our content. Now for this particular demo, I am gonna be using the internal features 
of the unit. We're gonna get into the application and things like that here shortly. But if you were going to make physical connections, you would just be connecting with your digital inputs, one, two, three, or four. Those are all your connections. Just for this demo purpose, the unit is turned around. Obviously, we would want all of our cables hidden and installed in a nice clean manner. This is just for demo purposes. And then last but not least, we're gonna take our three power connections, going to our power supply, our preamp, and our power amps, and connect it to power. Just because I have it here, I'm gonna connect it up to the Claris Concerto, which is a power conditioner. Let's go ahead and make those connections. All right, guys, so we just powered up the units for the first time. I would like to point out that when making your connections, after reading the instruction manual, I realized that the processor the free amp does not need a power supply when you're utilizing the main power supply um, it's transferring the power to the preamp over the low voltage lines so you're only going to need two connections the amplifier and the power supply to your high voltage power outlet okay so we're continuing forward with the setup as you can see it says welcome press the play button on the front panel then press and hold the remote control home button for three seconds. So we have the remote right here, home button, and play pause. Okay, the pairing of the remote has been completed. Now the remote control can control the unit. We're gonna select our language, which is English. Next, we're gonna do the setup through the mobile device. Launch the name app on your mobile device or set up the product manually using the remote control. Just so that you guys can see all of the advanced features since this is geared towards streaming, I wanted to show you guys the application. So I'm gonna grab the phone, we're gonna go to the app store, and we are going to download the name app. Okay, now that we have downloaded in the app store the Focal and name application, we're gonna continue forward through the privacy policy. We need to accept it. All right, looks like they just have a little demo reel here whenever you open up the application for the first time we're gonna go ahead and set up a new device allow it to find devices on the network allow it to use our location and then we're going to select the device that we're using we're going to select the nsc222 press the play button on the front panel then press and hold the remote control for three seconds we've already done that use the remote control follow on screen instructions until you see the icon displayed as you can see we already have that displayed so we're going back to the application we're going to hit next Next, it's asking us to select a device. The reason it's not seeing it is because I didn't plug in the ethernet cable. So I'm gonna go grab a patch cable and make the connection to my network switch, which is inside of my Salamander Designs cabinet. All right, I'm gonna take my patch cable right here. This is just a Cat6 cable and connect it to the back of the 222. And I'm gonna run it down and connect it into my switch. I'm just gonna make my connection to my Arachnus network switch. So it's hardwired in and as soon as I made the connection and restarted the app the NSC 222 popped up immediately it's asking me to press the play button on the front and do the remote which I've already done now we can see the gear is here as well as on the screen we're gonna hit next there's an update available so we're gonna go ahead and run the update continue and start the update it's very important to always start your update guys okay Okay, so now it's looking and starting the update. Perfect. So now we're just gonna wait for that update to run. The NSC has popped back up on my room. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Choose our country. We are in USA, United States. Setting country, locate your time zone, select a region within the country. So we are up here in the Rocky Mountains. So I'm going to select Mountain Time Denver. So you could actually change the name if you were gonna do multi-room audio. This kind of works like Sonos to where you can, you know, grab all the different rooms through the app. If you look here, see how it says, see how it says rooms? You could have all your different rooms laid out. So, you know, as an example, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to media room. You can see they have a bunch of different options right here. I'm gonna call this the music room done. 
Chromecast is built in. You got to accept their terms and conditions. Accept. Learn how to cast. So if you haven't used Chromecast before, it's similar to like AirPlay. You can just cast content straight to unit. Multi-room groups. So you can, like I was saying, kind of like Sonos, you guys have probably seen that a lot on our channel. You can grab multiple rooms and pair them together, but it shows you how to do that here. Share data. We'll accept that. Do you want to use this product as a UPMP server. Um, this is really personal preference. I'll just select yes so we can utilize the full features of the unit. If you say no, then less power will be consumed in standby mode, but you won't be able to use this product as a music server. So basically it won't stay on the network to where you can access at any time if you select no. I'm going to select yes. For more information, go to nameaudio.com. Uh, probably has a full like online user manual. Okay, so we're actually actually through the setup now guys we went through making all the connections all the way through updates and finally getting to the fun part now so as you can see here on the front display you have what's now currently playing Spotify radio USB if you wanted to plug something in there settings Bluetooth which we're not gonna recommend Bluetooth because we want high res right favorites and your input if you had say a phono input for you could hook up really anything to this guys you could have a really high quality cd player which we do sell some of those turntables which we sell really anything but the whole point of this is like you know streaming it's supposed to that's the the new latest and greatest thing is it should be high res streaming so i'm gonna go through that here soon uh but you have analog one and two digital one, two, three, four, your phono input, which is right here on the front of the unit. And then you have internet radio, Spotify, Bluetooth. So let's click internet radio and see what that is. So I think you would do that through the application. Go into our settings, see what options are there. Language, network settings. As you can see, I'm wired in. It looks like it does. Yeah, it actually has wireless setup available in case you wanted to or didn't have the ability to hardwire. I just went ahead and hardwired because it was right here. And it's always better to have a hardwired connection. It'll make things faster. Display, display off during playback. Screen color, white or green. Ooh, I'm not really a fan of the green. Leave it as white. Screen off during playback. I'm gonna leave the screen on, but it's nice to know you can turn that screen off if it bothers you. Bluetooth, this is where you would go in and pair a device. I'll show you guys how to do it because it's so easy. I'm gonna go on my phone. On my phone, I'm gonna go to Bluetooth, and then on the remote, we're gonna go to open pairing. And then back over here, music room just popped up. We're gonna select it. All right, now we're connected. And I could stream content straight to it. As an example, I'm just gonna go to uh, Billy Joel Piano Man on Apple Music, and it starts playing straight to the unit like that. All right, so as you can see now, Billy Joel is playing and you can adjust the volume right here or you can come to your application, which is what most of you guys will do. I'm going to register later because this is just a demo product for me, fortunately. <laughs> Hopefully one day I can have a product of this caliber in a uh, two channel listening situation or maybe up here in this room. <coughs> Focal. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's register later. So you can come right here to the volume. Okay, so that's our Bluetooth option. Now I'm gonna go back to home and I'll go to Spotify. Ready to place music? Listen to Spotify through your name streaming. So all you'll do is open it up and play a song through the name app, which I will show you now. So right here, you have your favorites, server, internet radio, USB, basically the same thing that you see on the display up there. Title, Cubuzz, and there's Spotify. And then there's all of your analog and digital connections. And as you can see down here, there's some built-ins, name radio, vibes radio, radio paradise, 320K, classic FM. Let's go ahead and just hit deep vibes radio. Oops. 
So this is our internet radio that's built into the unit, Deep Vibes Radio. And there is way more than enough range on these bad boys. We'll do title next. So once you're into your title account, you still want to get content that is ideally the highest quality that you can possibly choose. So you're going to look for master files. You have to upgrade to their premium plan, but guys, it's worth it. At this price point, believe me, you're going to want to get the best streams that you can. So I'm going to select Die For You The Weekend as an example. And then there's a bunch of different ways that you can stream the content. But as you can see right here at the top, there's an option to either like basically however you want to pipe it to your unit, but you can do title connect right here and select music room. And then if you look at the unit now, die for you from the weekend is playing. And this is just straight through the title app and you can literally just turn up right here on the on the side of your phone, you can adjust the volume. So as you can see, you can just do it quickly like that through Title Connect, or you could go into the Focal Name app and it'll actually display not only the song, but the file, which you can see this is what you want right here, FLAC files. And this is 44.1 kilohertz and 16-bit audio. You can jump through the track or you can adjust your volume right here. Another thing that I want to point out is once you have it set up, if you're really into high-end audio and you want to get more of the Focal Name products, this is where you would pair rooms together. Like I've shown you guys with Sonos, Den and Heos, and AirPlay and things like that. Another thing that's kind of cool, say on an iPhone, you can slide from the top and you could go to right here and it'll display all of the different rooms in the house. This is AirPlay. So like I could group the whole house together really quickly and easily see these are this is a mixture of in ceiling speakers speakers that are sitting on top of tables probably even let's see what else there's even a sonos roam here which i can just pick up and take with me out the door if i'm going to go skiing or you know set it on top of the hot tub whenever i'm out there if i don't want to crank up the speakers that are mounted to the house say it's really late at night tvs my macbook i mean everything has airplay built in these days it's pretty cool but these are just a couple of the quick options i hope you guys are enjoying this video if you like it drop comments down below and let me know now i'm just gonna crank some tunes and you know enjoy these speakers i've been working all day to get it connected and try to record it for you guys so now i just need to enjoy the content Maybe quite simple, but 
Uh, again, just the chills down the back. I mean, amazing. Definitely one of my favorite songs. So relaxing. I mean, this is what it's all about, guys. You get a nice system, you work hard all day, you come home, you listen to your favorite albums, your, your favorite artists in extremely high quality, and all the work is worth it. <laughs> this is what it's all about. All right, Dream Media family, that is a wrap on our setup guide on how to connect the new Class E combo. This three-piece combo is straight magic. Beast mode. You want to take your speakers to the next level? Consider these separates right here, guys. Combined with the Focal Sopra number twos, it's amazing. If you guys are interested in purchasing this setup, keep in mind this is part of our Dream Media Plus program, meaning you're going to get that white glove treatment from a Dream Media specialist. Now, if you would like to purchase anything home theater related, feel free to reach out for a free FaceTime or Zoom consultation. We ship throughout the entire nation for most products we sell other than those products underneath the Dream Media Plus umbrella, which is really specialty products that we just want to give you that extra attention to detail and make sure that it's set up properly so that you're getting the full experience. Like I was saying earlier, I want you to get those chills down your spine whenever we fire that system up. I don't want you to spend all the money on this crazy gear and then not get the true experience. So that's what Dream Media Plus is about, is just making sure that it's the cherry on top. <laughs> the service all the way through. We do it on our super high-end two-channel stuff as well as our high-end home theater systems because let's be real, who knows how to program a Trinol properly? Well, guess what? Kellen has dove into that head first and knows every single menu setup on the Trinol systems like no other company out there. I mean, he's had it in his home and has dialed it in to perfect. And that's what it's all about, guys. Whenever you're spending this kind of money, we want to make sure that every dollar spent is being maximized by the end result. That's all I got for you. If you guys like this video, drop some comments down below. Let me know how I'm doing. All right, well, if you like it, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.